Today's video takes a deeper look into a curious pattern among some of the financial world's most influential figures. Often, their public statements about cryptocurrencies do not align with their actions. Could it be a strategic move to sway market prices? Let's dig in. Remember the old saying, do what they do, not what they say? Keep that in mind as we explore how big players might be playing the crypto market. Now, let's quickly go through several examples of very influential people and their changing statements on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. First up, Larry Fink of BlackRock, who once called Bitcoin an index of money laundering, only to later describe it as an asset akin to gold, acknowledging its potential as a protective investment amidst economic uncertainties. By 2024, Fink heralded Bitcoin's long-term viability, citing the unprecedented growth of BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF as the fastest growing ETF ever a sign of substantial institutional and retail demand. Similar patterns can be seen with other titans like Jamie Dimon of JP Morgan, who went from outright calling Bitcoin a fraud to quietly acknowledging the bank's blockchain initiatives. These shifts suggest a possible strategy to influence market movements for personal or institutional gain. Ray Dalio, the founder of Bridgewater Associates, the world's largest hedge fund. In 2017, Dalio was quite vocal about his skepticism towards Bitcoin, labeling it a bubble and criticizing its volatility and usability as a currency. However, by December 2021, Dalio's stance had softened considerably. He acknowledged Bitcoin's impressive achievements, including its resilience to hacking and its widespread adoption, which had earned it considerable credibility. He even likened Bitcoin to a younger generation's alternative to gold. Acknowledging its role as a potential store of value, Brian Kelly, initially skeptical about Bitcoin, described his early buying as a bet on tulip mania. Yet, he quickly became a proponent, creating his own cryptocurrency to understand the technology better, and later authored The Bitcoin Big Bang, praising Bitcoin as a major financial innovation. Known as Professor Bitcoin, Williams predicted Bitcoin would fail dramatically. After being proven wrong, he acknowledged the low probability of Bitcoin's success, but admitted the reward would be substantial if it succeeded. Peter Schiff was another strong critic, comparing Bitcoin to tulip mania. Interestingly, by 2014, his company started accepting Bitcoin payments, showing a practical acceptance of its utility despite his earlier criticisms. Another striking example comes from Kevin O'Leary, who famously dismissed Bitcoin as garbage in 2019. Fast forward to 2021, O'Leary shifted gears dramatically. He then allocated 3% of his portfolio to Bitcoin, highlighting its potential as a hedge against inflation. These examples underscore the importance of watching actions over words. Don't get swayed by the noise. Do your research, stay informed, and remember, sometimes the real strategy is hidden between the lines of what they say publicly. Thank you for watching, and remember, when it comes to investing, always follow the money not just the commentary. Hit that subscribe button for more insights and drop your thoughts below. What do you think of these financial flip-flops?